Matt LaFleur's manscaping and the... Good morning, everyone. Welcome to First Things First. I'm Jenna Wolf, alongside Nick Wright, Kevin Wilde, Brian Westbrook with us. Mark Ingram is going to be stopping by in a little bit. Lots to ask him about. Lots coming up on a Wednesday morning. Are the Dallas Cowboys the next New England Patriots? Wait till you hear how much Dak is rumored to be asking for. And Tom Brady appears to be open for business. That's where we start this morning. The Bucks' new quarterback matching up with some of his new best friends yesterday. It was less how you doing and more how's your route running. A 7 a.m. start time for a two-hour throwing session down there in Tampa. Welcome to the Brady Way, guys. Mike Evans was there, among others. Rob Gronkowski was not, among others. Either way, Brady's arm reportedly looked live. Guys, we talked about one of the concerns during this abbreviated offseason being how they were going to develop chemistry, new quarterbacks, new receivers. Brian, it's May, and Tom's already out there with his guys. So I ask you, how valuable is this time actually going to be and this time that Tom is getting going to be? Well, you know, Jenna, when you talk about the off-season training, you talk about OTAs, you talk about minicamp, all those types of things. But in my opinion, uh, this time that you have by the side, I'm talking about without the coaches, but just the quarterback, receivers, and maybe some tight ends and running backs, this is the most important time because as a quarterback and receiver, you want to be able to look at the defense, you want to see the leverage, and you and the receivers have to be able to see the exact same thing. And now I have that nonverbal communication with that receiver and be able to say, you know the route that I want, and I need you to get to that spot. Those things are home during these sessions with just the quarterback and receivers and running backs, guys that are going to catch the football. And for Tom Brady, a 42-year-old quarterback, building those, those route depth, the ball placement, that communication with those receivers are, is very, very valuable. The other part, when you talk about Tom Brady going to a new team, is that you're building that camaraderie. You have a 42-year-old quarterback with a bunch of 20-year-old guys. And I remember back when I was younger and we were uh, in, in Philly and Donovan would always have throwing sessions out in Arizona. And it was all about building that camaraderie. It was about honing those routes, getting the route or the right route depth, all those different things. But most importantly, it was about the communication and the, the togetherness, the bond that we were able to share with the quarterback and all the other players on the team. And I think that's probably going to be the most important thing for Tom Brady, being able to talk to those guys, having an older quarterback and younger guys coming together um, as, as far as off the field stuff, especially during the time where you're not going to be able to do the mini camps or OTAs as much as we have in the past. That's going to be critical. critical. And I think this time with the, the receivers is invaluable for Tom Brady. Yeah, yeah, I think Brian nailed it for a number of reasons. First of all, to answer the question, Bucks fans should be super relieved because when I had first heard Tom Brady was getting together with his pass catchers, you know, outside of the facility, I wasn't certain are they going to be working on football or is this kind of a Mary Kay Avon party type of thing to try to recruit some people for the TB12 protect uh you know, immunity product he's pitching. So it was good to know that they focused on football for at least while they were on the field. We don't know what they talked about in the 25 minutes where they were out on the bleachers talking about things. Maybe it's the new product. I'm not certain. But Brian's point about precision and route depth is particularly important when you're going from one extreme to the other. And you don't get bigger a bigger gap between styles of quarterbacks from Jameis to Tom Brady. And if you're a Bucks receiver and you've played with Jameis Winston, it's probably been easy to forget or lose the attention to detail a bit on the little things when your quarterback had been awful at the biggest of things, which is not turning the ball over. If your quarterback's averaging two turnovers a game, it's probably hard to really convince a young receiver Seven yards means seven yards, not seven and a half or eight yards when you're thinking, yeah, and white jersey means white jersey, not blue jersey running the other way. <laughs> and if there's one thing Tom Brady's still going to be great at, it's going to be not turning the ball over and developing these relationships and making sure guys understand what is super important in the red zone, which reportedly they worked on is that you are exactly where I expect you to be. 
And so I do think, Wild, the fact that we're in May and they've already found a way to get on the field together should be a source of optimism for Bucks fans that were concerned about how will this this pandemic offseason affect our ability to get Tom Brady and these receivers and tight ends on the same page, Wilds. Yeah, I think you're right, Nick. You know what else I think? I think old people hate uncertainty. Just look at your own life, whether you're at home or you're on the panel right now, and just think, like, when you were 20, you were okay with some uncertainty. What are we doing tonight? I don't know. Let's just go do it. And every year you get a little bit older, <laughs> you just want things planned a little bit more. Like, I looked at my toaster the other day, and the toast came out, and it wasn't really well done. And I'm like, you know what, toaster? I can't trust you. I, I, you might have to go. And that's the same <laughs> way with Tom Brady. And <laughs> Fix that without, not about a toaster. So my favorite show on Facebook, Tom versus Time, episode three, they go to Gladiator Camp in Yellowstone. And we've got some quotes from Tom Brady about why Gladiator Camp is so fun. Number one, for me, getting out here and being with two of my teammates is invaluable time because you get a lot of one-on-one -on -one time. Uh, Nick, he was with your buddy, Julian Edelman. At that point, Julian Edelman was making no comments about your hairline. Number two, it builds special relationships. <laughs> how do you build trust? By the way, Mark Ingram coming up on the show later. Uh, how do you build real love and caring for one another? Now let's fast forward to the famous Howard Stern interview that he did. Howard Stern was talking to him about the personnel and Belichick. And Tom Brady said, I would say to Belichick, I don't have trust that this guy can help us win the game. I've definitely expressed my opinion to say, if you put him out there, I'm not going to throw him the ball. So I think out of all the quarterbacks in the NFL, since Tom Brady's a little bit older and older people do not like uncertainty, Jenna, Tom Brady values trust more than any other quarterback. It's a good point. I don't understand what you mean by old people not understanding uncertainty. I'm open for anything every night, so I definitely don't fall in that category. Brian, let me ask you oh, this. Jenny, we Brady, have heard old. for years about the... Okay. No, not old. I'm open for anything. I'm young. I'm not old. Did I do that wrong? Uh, uh, Patriot way, right? We've heard for years about the Patriot way. You know what we haven't heard? Nick, be quiet. What we haven't heard? The Buccaneer way. <laughs> do you think it's possible for Tom Brady oh. to bottle up some of that Patriot culture, bring it to Tampa, and get the guys to buy in? Nick mentioned seven-yard route running, precision, all of that, the, the hours he puts in and out. Can you take that one guy, bring that to another team, and get everybody to sign up for it? Well, I think when you're bringing the GOAT, the greatest of all time, Tom Brady, uh, into that situation, the guys the, the guys around him, Mike Evans, all the other receivers, they just gonna, are just going to fall in line. Teach me how to be a winner. They haven't been successful in Tampa Bay and with, with Jameis Winston or anyone else in a very long time. Now they have the opportunity to play with one of the best uh, quarterback that have ever played the game, probably the best quarterback that has played the game before. And this is what the Patriot way was built on. Preparation, study, attention to detail, and win at all costs. And I think Tom Brady can bring all those aspects to Tampa Bay that can help them win. The biggest aspect of probably about the Patriot way was Bill Belichick. That's the one thing that Tom Brady won't be able to bring uh, to Tampa Bay. We just hope, and I think Tom Brady hopes, that Bruce Arians can be that Bill Belichick of the South, and if they can, they can win an awful lot of games. And, and you did, if you saw the pictures, and credit to the Tampa Bay Times for having a reporter out there for getting this story so we all know it, and they have the exclusive rights to the photos, but if you go to their website and you check it out and support your local newspaper, America, something very interesting stood out to me. All of the guys out there are either shirtless, wearing tank tops, or just some T-shirt. That's it, except for Tom, who is wearing shoulder pads and a official practice jersey. So, I mean, I, he hasn't been able to get to the facility. He already has some equipment. I'm not sure. Maybe that was in the Byron Leftwich handoff that never actually happened. But the point <laughs> is, some of that Patriot precision or attention to detail, all these other guys look like, all right, we're going to go work out on the field. Tom's wearing his shoulder pads and the special colored quarterback, don't touch me jersey, which seemed a little unnecessary because there were literally no defensive players out there. But still, you even saw it there that he was a little more buttoned up, Jenna, than the rest of the guys. 
And to your point, Nick, he could have called this two-hour training session for 9 a.m., let the guy sleep in. He made it 7 a.m. He wanted to see who wants to show up, who wants this badly enough. So I think you see a little bit he needs of the that rest Brady of his day Patriot to hawk way that, seeping you know, in. Pro-immunity protect product protect. that he's putting out on exactly. Instagram. He's got big dates ahead uh, of him right now. All right. <laughs> Sorry, Wild. Sorry. We'll give you a break, commercial break, to let this all sink in. We got to take a real 